May the Lord bless and keep you. Let me say something. When I speak to you in the way that I do, in what I am saying, you can find principles of what I am saying in the Bible. Now, I can read scriptures to you, verses 27 through 89 and stuff like that, but what I'd like to do is place scriptures in everyday life. Because I can read to you all day long, but some people may say, hey, what does that mean? have to do with me? How is that going to help me? So I like to place things in simple, everyday things. So I pray that this makes sense. So people who may know the Bible really well may not like the way that I teach. <laughs> I guess there are different ways to teaching, whatever. Anyways, let me say this. When there is an issue or some type of problem, let's say that Kev is having an issue with someone. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. So when there is an issue that arises between me and someone else, I am thinking, what did I do? What did I say wrong? I am thinking that perhaps I am wrong. Perhaps I did something wrong or said something wrong. I never want to get to the point where I am always thinking that I am always right. That is dangerous. That is one easy way to slip into pride and arrogance. That is dangerous. So I look back, hey, what did I do? Sometimes I may even go to others or go to that person and ask that person, what did I do wrong? What did I say wrong? Never assume that you are always doing things right. I was talking to another person and <laughs> I have to help that person even when I don't want to. But I was talking with this person and this person really surprised me. This person said that God is showing himself, how can I say that? God is showing the way that that person is to themselves. So let's say that I am speaking to Bill. So God is showing Bill himself and to make this easy to understand let's call this person Bill and Bill was saying to me that he is shocked in so many words he is shocked that he is that way and 
I am thinking, how did you not know that <laughs> you are that way? My point is, when there is an issue, don't always point the finger at the other person. What you should do is point the finger at yourself and look back and say to yourself, what did I do wrong? What did I say wrong? Look back at yourself, even if you believe that you did nothing wrong or said anything wrong. Look back at yourself. What did I do? Never, ever, ever assume that you are always right. Listen. Be open to correction. How can I correct you if I am not open to correction? As a human, I know that I am going to make a mistake. But if I am thinking that, hey, Kath is always right, how can I grow? How can I elevate in God when I am in this pride? How can I get to where I need to be in God if I am not open to correction? If someone can show me where I am wrong and be right about it, hey, I have to apologize. I have to change my ways because if I don't, then that is showing you and showing myself that I am sinning or doing wrong on purpose. That is dangerous. So how can I sit up here and tell you anything about God when I am purposely doing wrong? That is dangerous. Always be open to correction always that is wisdom don't you know by listening to other people whether i know more than them more than them or not by listening to other people don't you know that god speaks to or through people it doesn't matter how old or young someone is. It doesn't matter if someone knows little or much about you. Don't you know that God speaks through people? So if you have this attitude, hey, Kev, you can't tell me nothing because, hey, I am Bill and I am in charge. When you are that prideful and that arrogant and act in that manner, don't you know so many more bad things are coming your way? Don't you know that God warns us in so many different ways? Some people may believe that, hey, God is the only one that can judge me or correct me. So if he doesn't say anything to me, then I am not going to change. How crazy is that? So you expect God to hear his actual voice when many of us don't hear it but you feel so entitled and so special that you want to hear the Most High God's voice and you believe that it is going to happen for you? God speaks to us in so many different ways. So when you are not open to correction, 
you are going to fail much more. You are, my Lord, <laughs> you are purposely staying in ignorance. And you are stressed out because of how your life is. Ugh. <laughs> Am I saying that everyone, you should allow everyone to speak to you? I am not saying that because there are some demonic people out there. Believe me, <laughs> I know. <laughs> there are some demonic people out there that may be trying to curse you. So you have to be careful. This is why you have to align everything a person says with the word of God. So if they are telling you, hey, Kev, you should open up your third eye. Hey, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> open up your third eye. Crazy, man. Bad advice. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.